Someone told me they use it in dentistry these days. You know what it's called. Oh, well, it's a lot of bunkum anyway. Oh, now, Mr. Pryor. We've come a long way from the days when hypnosis was regarded as a form of magic or witchcraft. But it's surprising how many misconceptions and fears remain. Even among my students in my class in parapsychology. When I call for volunteer subjects, I get the oddest reactions. And the fact is, you can't hypnotize a person against his will. Could you hypnotize me right now? Would you like me to? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> you see what I mean about fears? How about you, Lucy? Are you afraid too? I, um, I think Adele's right. I've managed to keep this husband of mine fooled so far, so why take the risk of giving myself away? What makes you think you have him fooled? Well, I don't know. Have I, darling? Well, maybe you ought to let Miles hypnotize you. And we'll all find out. Shall I? The risk is all yours, my dear Mrs. Pryor. All right. Wonderful, wonderful, darling. I'm willing to chance it if Will is. Well, how do we start? Well, if you're serious, let's get you in a nice, comfortable chair near a light. Yes, this one will do. Darling, yeah. I think you're very brave <laughs> I don't know to do about this. this. Oh, I'd there's like nothing to, to worry about. The courage to... All I want is your <laughs> concentration. <laughs> Last one, yeah. Yeah. I think yeah. I was 11 years old. Oh, Comfortable? Yes. Relaxed? Completely. Good. Now, I want you to concentrate on this light. Just stare at it. That's right. Just the light. It's soft and steady, and it burns warm and glowing, softly, moving now, slowly, 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 floating in space, free of this room, as now you are free. Free. You and the light and the sound of my voice. Can you hear my voice? Yes. Good. We're alone now. You and I. And whatever I ask you, you must answer truthfully. Will you do that? Speak to her. Lucy? 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 She doesn't hear you or see you. Lucy, wake up. I'm afraid she doesn't feel your touch either. Let's go back in time, way back through the years, back to when you were a child, nine years old. You're nine years old now. What school do you attend? Miss Ewing's classes. And what are you studying there? Oh, reading, writing, arithmetic, and drawing. And what do you want to do when you grow up? Mm. Marry. <laughs> Let's come back to the present. Back through the years. Five years, 10, 15 years. You're grown up now, and you are married. You've been married for five years, and your name is Mrs. Lucy Pryor. My name is Dora. What is your full name? Dora Evans, and it pleased thee, sir. What on earth is she talking about? Shh. Where do you live, Dora? 
I abide at number 43, King Street, Philadelphia. And what year is this? In the year of our blessed Lord, 1853. 1800? What? Dora Evans. You live in Philadelphia, and this is 1853. Tell me, are you married? Do you have a husband? I, uh, he, uh, I beg of thee, sir, pray do not make me tell. Very well. We'll talk about something else. Who is the President of the United States? The Honorable Benjamin Pierce. Have you ever met him or seen him? Oh, indeed. He was here but a short while ago, addressing a convocation of the Society of Friends on the question of slavery. What do you like to do? You like to sew? You like to work in your garden? Oh, I have a lovely garden, which doth pleasure me greatly. Would you like to show me your garden? My garden. Down there by the elder trees. And my nasturtiums and ferns. And over there the old mill wheel turns and... And here my rose arbor. My rose arbor. What about the rose arbor? It was there I made my decision. I took me stealthy to the house and into the parlor. Where sat my good husband? He did not see me enter. I came up behind him and quickly. <laughs> <laughs> 